Hello. Welcome to the third lesson of the combinatorics module. Today, we'll be talking about permutations. It enumerates a number of possibilities in rearranging a subset of a list of objects. Let's say, for example, we have the integers from 1 through 10. One possible rearrangement is 7, then 2, then 8, 3, 10, 1, 6, 9, 5, and finally 4. Another rearrangement is listed at the bottom of your screen. Now, how many rearrangements are there in total? That's a job for permutations. Let's say we have three letters, A, B, and C, and we want to select two of them. How many ways can we do this? Well, we can actually just list out all the possibilities and check that there are six ways in total of doing this. But let's think this problem through. We start out with three letters, and we want to choose two of them. For the first letter, we choose any of the three letters, A, B, or C. So there are three options. Now we take a look at the second letter. How many options are there? If we choose A for our first letter, we can't choose A again for our second letter. We can choose B or C, so there are two options. If we chose B for our first letter, then we can't choose B for our second letter, so we'd have two options again, A or C. Similarly, we have two options if we choose C for our first letter. Thus, no matter what letter we choose for our first letter, we always have two options for our second letter. So, since we have three options for the first letter and two options for the second letter, we have six options in total by the rule of product, which we can use to confirm with all the possibilities that we had listed out earlier. In general, if we have n objects and we want to rearrange k of them, then we have the following number of ways to do it, listed at the bottom of your screen. This can be shortened using the factorial notion. n factorial is a product of all integers from 1 through n. So, 5 factorial equals 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. We do define 0 factorial to be 1, though, just for consistency's sake. Now, using our new notation, the number of ways to rearrange k objects from a list of n objects in total equals n factorial divided by n minus k factorial. And that is the idea behind permutations.